Hey guys, Ivan here, and I wanted to talk about the Roly Winkler. Nobody seems to be talking about him right now. Everybody keeps mentioning Brandon Curry as a potential winner of 2019 Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden also repeating it, Phil Heath coming back and retaking the title, Big Ramy coming shredded and winning it. Not so much about Roly Winkler, and honestly, I think Roly does deserve more than that, to be quite honest. I kind of forgot about him as well. But now I'm thinking he has pretty good chances, actually. Look, he took third place at last year's Mr. Olympia. He beat guys like Rami, like Bonac, like Curry. But, you know, Brandon Curry improved a lot from 2018 to 2019. Maybe and very likely he will come even better in 2019 Mr. Olympia. He said that he wants to do what Ronnie Coleman did in 1998. And he's young, he can do that, probably, he can progress. Then you also have William Bonac, who can also beat everybody, pretty much, if he comes on and other people come a little bit off. But Rolly, Rolly beat them all, pretty much, except Sean Roden at the Mr. Olympia. And I think it's pretty safe to say that Sean is not going to repeat 2018 Mr. Olympia edition. I cannot be sure about that, of course, he can come in and come looking great, maybe even better than last year, but based on everything we saw so far, it doesn't seem like it. It just doesn't seem that way. So if Phil Heath doesn't come back, if Big Remy doesn't show up and doesn't show up peeled, and if Brandon doesn't improve his legs, Rolly has very good chances against Sean, because Rolly doesn't lack legs, he doesn't lack mass, at any single body part. The only thing that he lacks is details in his lower back. Same thing goes with his glutes and hamstrings. And that's a flaring weakness. That, that's pretty obvious. It's very obvious. And it hurts him a lot. Having good back is very important. But it didn't stop him from beating Curry, Bonac and Remy in 2018 Mr. Olympia. Because he was more shredded than them. He was ready. He was just in great condition. That is not usually the case with him. He is not always in great conditioning, but that year, on that day, he was. He looked great. And he beat them. He didn't beat Sean Roden, but Sean was really, really good. He was peeled to the bone and very complete. So, if Brandon Curry does not improve his legs a lot, in all likeness, he will take third place. Sean will probably battle it out with Rolly if Rolly comes peeled. So I think Rolly has very good chances to actually win this thing. It depends on Sean Roden mainly. If Sean repeats his shape from 2018, there is no way that Rolly can beat Sean. No way. Sean is just complete bodybuilder. He has everything. He doesn't have anything super impressive, but he has everything. A little bit of everything. But Rolly, however, lacks his lower back quite a bit. So for that reason, if they both come in great shape, Sean takes it. But if Sean comes a little bit off, and if Rolly comes perfectly peeled, he can destroy him from the front poses, simply because of his enormous arms, very full chest, very full legs, very full frame overall. He's a size freak. He's so full. He has better shoulders, probably better chest, better arms. Yeah, he's not better from the back, and he doesn't have better lag details, but overall he's very impressive because he's super big, he's very round, and when he is conditioned, he looks amazing. So I'd say it mainly depends on what other guys do. If Brandon Curry brings up his legs, and if they don't seem like a weakness for him, he has the chances to win the throne. But if he doesn't do that, and if Rolly comes in great conditioning, he can probably beat Brandon Curry simply because of his completeness. Brandon's legs are just a little bit too weak. And the same thing goes with Sean. If Sean doesn't come on, which means being perfectly peeled and full, which is not likely to happen based on everything what we saw, it may happen, but it's not very likely. Again, Rolly may have a fighting chance for the title. So I think Rolly is somebody who should be taken into consideration, considering the fact that he was third last year when Phil Heath was there. So we'll see, we'll see what, the, uh, what package Rolly brings. But if he comes very, very good and very much on, he has very good chances. What you guys think? Do you think Rolly has the chances to win the throne? 
Do you think it's unfair not to mention him as much as the other guys, just like most people are doing, including me? I think it's not fair and I just realized that and I think Roly is a very big potential this year. The main reason why Roly is out of the discussion for winning the Mr. Olympia is because he slipped. Not only once, but a few times. He slipped to the Arnold Classic, he came in watery and bloated, and he repeated pretty much the same thing at Arnold Classic Australia, where he came a little bit better but still not at his 100%. Before Arnold Classic happened, he was the favorite to win it. Everybody was predicting that Roly is going to win Arnold Classic 2019, and then later maybe even the Mr. Olympia. But, you know, he showed up very, very weak. He lost, and it wasn't even close. He did not lose, like, by one spot or so. He was beaten by Luke Sando, by William Bonek, and Brandon Curry. So, Brandon Curry, after the Arnold Classic, was the favorite to win the Mr. Olympia, or to be the number one contender to challenge Sean Roden. But Rolly was just out of the discussion simply because of that. And I don't think that really means much. I think he didn't really want to push the envelope that much for that show. He just took it easily. And I believe that right now at Mr. Olympia, he will, you know, give his best. I think he will push it hard and try to win the throne. It's not a small thing to win the Mr. Olympia title. Whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. I'm posting bodybuilding related content every single day. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and all the best guys. Bye bye.